I don't know how people keep talking while they're doing their hair. Like, I'm concentrating on my hair. Like, I'll keep people talking. <laughs> I feel like it's boring to watch, but you know. Okay. Hi guys, my name is Dida, better known as Wavy Dida. Today I'm gonna do a battle between Curl Smith and Pretty Girl the Girl. Products that have similar texture and hold. Also, I made sure I had at least one styler with protein in both of the routines. I have been using the, both of the brands for a long time. I almost started out with Curl Smith only and then I found out about Pretty Girl the Girl. I haven't used Curl Smith for a long time because I used to have low porosity hair and my hair just didn't like agree with the products when it was low porosity so i'm very curious to see what happens now that my hair is highlighted so let's start off with girlsmith i'm starting off with the shine cream i only have the travel size bottle it's a very lightweight texture it is oh, very light not like very creamy but also very slippery. So when I started my hair journey, I thought Girlsmith was the brand to go. I saw almost everybody use this brand and it was everywhere and it suited every hair type. So I thought, well, this is the brand for curly or wavy hair. Little did I know there were so many more brands. <laughs> Next. I'm going to use the Bouncy Strength Volume Foam. This foam contains protein. I haven't used this one a lot. Like I used this one once before. It's again very lightweight. It's well almost runny. It's very well, it smells very nice. I am Curious to see how the clumping will go because um, this one is very lightweight and I don't feel like a lot of hold or um, clumping texture already on my hands. And to lock in this style, I will use the Shine Gel. I think this is almost the same texture as the in shower style fixer which i never tried before but it's a very strong hold gel the consistency is super thick as you can see so i'm not going to use a lot i'm just going to use a little i'm going to add some water to make it a little bit more easy to distribute i have tried this gel before of course and um well it's fragrance free it had a very strong cast but it was also very heavy for me, so but that was when I used it on low porosity hair, so I don't know if my hair will agree with it better now. And then just scrunch it in. Crossmith side done. Let's continue with the Pretty Girl Girl side. I am going to use the Extra Love and Leave-In Conditioner. This is a protein-free conditioner because the leave-in conditioner because the Shine cream was also protein free. This one is a little more thick. It's creamier, but it's still lightweight, but it's not as light as the shine cream. I started using Pretty Girl Girl like three years ago, I think. Almost three years ago. And well, I'm still using it a lot. First style this side real quick. This brush is amazing, by the way. I, I know we've all seen it on the internet, but <sighs> Bounce Girl really did something with this thing, with this brush. So next up is the Flexseed Foam. This foam doesn't have protein, but the gel will have protein. So I'm balancing it out. Um, this is one of my favorite foams. It's easy to use. I can use this as a one styler. I don't need anything else. So I'm a little bit biased. <laughs> as you can see, this texture is thicker. It's not as airy as the other foam from Curlsmith. Um, so 
I can feel there is a little hold in the texture in the foam. The gel I'm gonna use is the Strong Gold Gel um, from Pretty Curly Girl. It's a thick gel. It can be heavy, so you only need to use a little, just like the Curl Smith one. Ugh. This is the texture of the gel. I'm gonna use a little bit of water to make it easier to distribute. I'm gonna glaze this over just like I did on the other side. And then scrunch it in. This is both sides fully styled. Um, I think they look pretty similar. This one feels a little bit more stiff than this side, but we'll see what happens after I dry it. Well, my hair is dry enough. <laughs> both are in the cast. The Cosmet side has a less hard cast than I would have expected. Uh, the Pretty Girly Girl side is very hard. So we're gonna scrunch that out. On the Cross Mid side, I'm gonna scrunch out the crunch with the bonding oil. This is a lovely oil. It smells amazing, it contains protein. It's very lightweight and I really love this oil. It's very runny. <laughs> it won't leave your hair greasy or um, weighed down. So yeah, I, I really like this one. Gonna give it a little shake. So I noticed that my hair is not like fully dry, which I expected, but it's a little more wet than I expected it to be. So the cross mid side definitely took longer to dry. <laughs> On the pretty critical side, I'm gonna use um, their serum to scrunch out the crunch. I just wanted to show you the difference between an oil and a serum because they're two totally different products. As you can see, the serum is more silky. It's also runny, but still well, not as runny as an oil and it feels differently. It's like lubricant, but it still seals in the moisture and the style. This one is fragrance free, by the way, so your hair won't have any smell of the serum. For the people that don't like strong smells on their hair. Alright, this is the finished results on both sides. I think the Curlsmith side looks a little bit stringy. It's still not fully dry, which annoys me a little bit. And there's less volume. While on the Pretty Curlico side my hair is dry. It is weightless, it feels soft. Um, and it's got some great definition. So for me, Pretty Curly Girl definitely won. Do you use any of these products as well? And what's your opinion on them? Let me know in the comments below. So after a while, this is what my hair looks like. This is the Girls Mid side. And this is the Pretty Girly Girl side. So what do you think? Which side looks best? right after watching and after a while. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below which brand battle you would like to see next. And in the meantime, follow me on Instagram, wave and I'll see you next week.